welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Emily or Elin1998. Today's video is going to be about, well, I did a declutter. And so it's going to be about my nail polish collection now and what I'm getting rid of. So if that interests you, go ahead and stay tuned. So I decided to go through my collection and get rid of a lot of polishes just because I was feeling really just like there's this thing called consumerism and it's where like you feel like you just feel pressured to buy and buy and buy and I feel like I fell into that trap a little bit and I just really wanted to go through my collection and clear out anything that I know I'm not going to use, things I have dupes of, or polishes that no longer make me happy. And so that is what I decided to do a couple days ago. I decided not to film it though just because um, it would have killed my battery like several times over on my camera and it would have like, it would have been a huge video because there was a lot to go through. So, um, and I wanted to get it all done in one or two days and not break it up, um, into multiple videos. And so that's why I didn't film it, but we can go through it now and look at what's left and what I'm getting rid of. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is where I keep my nail polishes. I have three Helmers. Now, I know that seems like a lot of Helmers for, especially since I just got rid of so many polishes, um, but I do plan to cut down, cut back on one when I move, um, probably. Um, this is just too much, honestly. I have too many Helmers. I only have about 450 polishes now. I got rid of, like, about... 150. Um, actually, I got rid of more because I threw some away that were too old and gooky to sell. But um, yeah, there is three Helmers to go through, and I have two full drawers on the Helmer that is all the way over on this side. And so, yeah, let's just go through the drawers and see how they look now. So we have my, these two Helmers, these two right here, the first and the middle one, um, those are organized in rainbow order. And then the last one down here has, the top drawer has top coats, base coats, toppers, and then two empty drawers, and then 90 lacquer collection, and then my Lotus lacquers collection. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the two that are rainbow sorted. So we have this first drawer here, which has all of my reds, and I have it sort of organized right now where it's like, it's kind of got creams in the front and then shimmers, glitters, flakies, what have you, those special kinds of like in the back. I don't know that this is how I'm going to keep it, just because, like I said, I might be getting rid of a Helmer. But this one has my orange and my yellow polishes. The oranges are in front because they're in rainbow order. And um, we have my creams in front here and then specialty finishes. And then once again with my yellows, we got the creams in the front and then specialty finishes in the back. And then in this drawer, we have my greens. My greens... And I had a lot of greens, and I still do, honestly. But I did get rid of any that did not bring me joy anymore. And so I kept the ones that I still like. So I don't think I'm going to cut down from this just yet. Um, but yeah, this is my greens with the creams in the front and the specialty finishes in the back. And then in this middle drawer open that's opened right now, we have... Let's see, there's mint green here in the front. And then we have this line that's like a certain shade of turquoise that I absolutely love. And then these ones are like a mixture between greens and blues. And so they're more of a turquoise as well. So moving on, 
we have this drawer, which is going to be, let me move the camera a little bit. We have this drawer, which is all my blues. And once again, there's, these ones are my dark blues. So there's creams in the front, specialty finishes in the back. And then as you can see, this drawer is really empty. These are my light blues or pastel blues. Um, just the short of, sort of lighter shade range of my blue collection. And then on this side, we have my dark purples. Um, in the drawer below, on this side, we have my dark purples. Creams in the front, specialty finishes in the back. And then we go to this drawer. And this one is a little bit a little bit separated as well. That's because these are my like lighter pastel-y purples in the front. And then I have a mixture of like fuchsia polishes in the back. And these ones are just like a mixture between purple and pink, but not really a pinky. It's more a purple, but it's also a pink, if that makes sense. <laughs> And then finally at the back, we had one up tipped over, my bad. We have my darker pinks on this side. And that one um, is not quite as full either. Um, but these are like the like darker or more vibrant pinks. And then on this side we have um, my lighter pinks or my like pastel-y pinks. And so these ones are going to be like lighter shades like this one. Although this one needs a good shake up, but yeah. And then in the way back that, back there, you can see my favorite polish of all time. My three my three bottles of it, um, which is China Glaze Don't Let the Dead Bite. Which I've actually gone through two bottles of that one now already. And so I know three might seem excessive. But I want to have this polish around for like the rest of my life and so to me it's not excessive and this is the only polish I have like multiples of and so I think it's okay. And then way down here on the bottom, the very bottom of these two Helmers, on this side we have, um, yeah this side we have, we have golds in the back, silvers in the middle, and then up front we just have like glitter polishes that I don't really have a base color for. And so, yeah, it's just colors that don't have a certain base color but just have glitter, like a glitter bomb texture in there. So those ones go right there. And then here in this drawer we have black polishes in the front. And then we go into the grays, and then we hit white polishes, and then we hit the t the browns, the tans, the the like yeah, the browns and the tans colors in the way back of that last drawer. And so the very top drawer in this far right Helmer. We have my top coats, base coats, toppers. There's two polishes right there that are actually, I'm saving for one of my younger sisters. Um, she asked for those instead of me just throwing them out or selling them. She asked if I would keep those for her, and so I am. She lives in a different state though, so I have not gotten the opportunity to take them to her yet. And then in those two right there, that is Cert Colors AU. And then right next to it is my Clarins 230. And so those are my two most expensive polishes I have. And so I keep them right there so I know where they're at at all times. And just because I don't have anywhere else to put them. They are, I could put my Clarins with my toppers or my purples, but I keep them with my toppers. And the reason I keep my top coats and base coats in that one is because it is the um, closest to my desk, which is right over here. There's my chair, and my desk is has some sensitive information on the top of it right now. So has some papers on there, so I won't show you the actual desk. But yeah, that's where my desk is at. So I keep my top coats and base coats readily available right there next to me. 
And so the next two drawers, this one and this one actually, are both empty, which is nice. I have two full empty drawers. Um, but like I said, I'm probably going to get rid of a Helmer. And so I don't know that that one, that I'll have empty drawers when I downsize, but we'll see. We'll see. And then this one is a little bit disorganized just right now. Um, wait. Those are my 90 lacquers. And as you all know, I one day hope to own all of them. And so I don't know if that's still my goal. I might have to reevaluate that, but I do really enjoy the polishes I do have from her. And so I keep them separated from all my other brands and colors. And then the next two drawers are actually my Lotus Lacquers, which if you did not know is my own brand that I used to run and sell by myself. Um, I closed it down last year though and I still make polishes for myself um, and when I do make them they go up in this top drawer. The bottom one is ones that were released into the public and the top one is ones that I've continued making that have not been released. And so in this box what we have is what I am not throwing away but selling. I did have to throw away a few because they were too thick or goopy to sell or I had used a lot of the polish already and I didn't want to sell like a half used bottle. But this, po this box is going to be 95% 90 to 95% mainstream brands I would say. Um, it's definitely OPI and China Glaze, a lot of those, but it's got some Indies, it's got some Oralies, it's got, you know, it's got an assortment as well. Um, so if that interests you, it is $250 shipped, um, so I will pay the shipping and you just have to pay $250 and I will send this to you. Um, if that interests you, go ahead and comment down below and I will get in touch with you. So that was the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're doing a declutter, you're doing a de-stash, if you're looking to buy more, what state are you in in your nail polish collection journey. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!